made a great game out of spaghetti and the colander. We're going to show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you need a colander. A colander is a strainer that you use in the kitchen, like when you're washing fruit or dumping cooked vegetables into it. The holes let the water run out. Next, you need some dry spaghetti, any kind of long pasta. It just can't be cooked. Then, you need to put the dry spaghetti through the hole of the colander. And you have to push it through one hole to get it all the way to the other side. It can be whatever way you want. Go crazy. You need to make it so it goes all the way to the other side. If a piece breaks of the dry spaghetti, it's no problem. We're making a net of spaghetti inside the colander. When the net is ready, you can put in a ball, a very light ball, like a ping pong ball or a foam ball. The ball should be light enough to sit on top of the pasta. Gently drop your ball on top of the spaghetti net. Each person takes turns pulling a piece of pasta out. The goal of the game is to pull out the pasta and get the ball to the bottom. I'm picking this one because it's under the ball and it has better chances of making it fall. You were so close. I want to choose this one because it's holding the ball up. Yes! And, and that's, that's how, how you play Spaghetti Net! Silly Animal Charades! We're playing Silly Animal Charades! My turn. Hmm, I should get this one. Oh. <laughs> a, a bird. Uh, a, a crow. A seagull. Yes. That's correct. That's great. Uh, this one. Ah. Okay. Ka ka ka. Yes. Yes. Seagull <laughs> Yes. We're gonna show you how to play silly animal charades so you can play too. This is what you need to make silly animal charades. First, you need to make your animal cards. Print your animal off the internet. And go on with the adult. You don't want to go on by yourself. You can cut animals out of magazines like these. Or you can color them. I'm cutting out this cute koala that I found. I want to make a dragon. And you can make any type of animal you want. You can make a rainforest animal, you can make a, a desert animal, even a water animal. While we make our cards, I'm gonna show you how to play silly animal charades. To play, you pick an animal first, and then you act it out. And just like regular charades, the kids have to guess what your animal is. Once they've guessed your animal, you go back to the bins and you pick an action for your animal to do. You act out your animal doing that action and the other players have to guess what action your animal is doing. And then it's someone else's turn. And that's how you play silly animal charades. Once you have your animal, you can glue it on a card. And after this, after I glue this on the card, this is going in the animal bin. With this cute koala I cut out earlier. Next, you have to find some actions. I'm gonna take this very cute squirrel reading. I'm gonna glue it on that card right there. And I'm gonna put it in the actions bin. Right there. It's my turn. Kangaroo. Wait, a bun, uh, uh, Kangaroo. Yes. Uh, <laughs> kangaroo. It was a kangaroo. Wait. I'm gonna pick an action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know what it is this time. It's a kangaroo skipping rope. Yes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, crocodile. Yes. <laughs> For at first, I thought you were trying to be a shark. <laughs> yeah, or something, something like that. Uh. Close your eyes. I mean, uh, close it. Uh. A crocodile stretching. stretching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a crocodile. <laughs> How to wrap a nursery rhyme! We're wrapping nursery rhymes. We're gonna tell you how to do it so you can play too. Yo, Mo Goose, give me a beat. 
Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yeah! That was awesome! Thank you. Now we're going to show you how to play. First you need nursery rhymes. And then you need a beat. I just flipped over this bowl. Just a nice and steady beat to go with the rhythm. I have two forks, and I'm adding a little more rhythm. After that, you just wrap your nursery rhyme to the beat. First, I'm getting a nursery rhyme. Which one did you get? I got Little Miss Muffet. Cool. Okay. Yo, Mo Goose, give me your beat. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Woo! Got one. Which one did you get? It's a surprise. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Yo, Mo Goose, give me a beat. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Yeah, Woo! that was awesome! Thank you. Mo Goose! Yo, Yo Mo Goose! Goose. Mo Goose! Yo, Mo Goose! Mo Goose! Yo, Mo Goose! Mo Goose! How do we get I Spy Bottle? Shh, we're playing spies. We're making I Spy Bottles. What's an I Spy Bottle? It's a bottle where you spy things. We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're going to make colorful rice. You're going to first need a plastic bag. You put in four to five pumps of hand sanitizer. I want to make my rice red. I'm making mine blue. Then put in four to five drops of food coloring. And then you're going to put a cup of rice. And just put one cup. And you need to zip your bag. And then you're going to put that rice and just swish it. Just really nice. It feels so mushy. <laughs> Machine, 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 machine. Mine is all red now. Mine is blue. And then you need to dry your rice, which will probably take an hour. You could just pour it into a bowl. This is the rice that we made earlier, and now it's dry, and now we're ready to make our ice spy bottle. And this bottle was old and recycled from sweet tea. So we're gonna have a clear bottle, a funnel, and here are some objects. So we're gonna get a scoop in the red. And the funnel makes the rice go through it, so then the rice will go into the bottle. Find some items to put inside the bottle. Here's some that we found. A paper clip, some candlesticks, some flowers. I added a blue ball. Okay, and now we're gonna write down what we just put on. We're gonna write things down so we can find them later. So now we're gonna get another scoop. So now we're gonna get the blue. This is going to be nice and colorful. So I'm going to put in the dice, and he's just going to put in the skateboard. I'm going to put in like the red rice, and then an object, and then the blue rice, and then an object, and then a green rice, and an object, and I just repeat it and repeat it until it's full enough. Okay, so now we're gonna put in an object. So I'm going to put in the guitar and 
Daniel's going to put in... A whistle. The whistle. The whistle. Okay, so now to finish our rainbow. Now I'm going to put the cap on. Now I'm going to shake it up so I can find the objects. I found the guitar. And that's how you make an ice spy bottle. How to make a spider web game. We made a spider web game in our room. Here, Xander. There. This is a hard one. Sorry. You can do it. Xander. You got it. You're doing so great. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. All you need to make your own web is yarn and jingle bells. The first thing you need to do is cut a really, really long piece of yarn. Make sure you check with an adult before you tie yarn onto something. Don't tie your yarn to anything that could tip over, such as a bookcase or a lamp. And then you put your yarn all over the place. Over here, yeah, here, to there, 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 there. Then put a jingle bell on each piece of yarn. Here's how you put the jingle bell on the piece of yarn. It's almost like flossing your teeth, except this with the jingle bell. You take the yarn and you put it into the slit of the jingle bell. It's a little tricky. And sometimes it might come apart like this, but you take it and put it back together. And there you go, you have your jingle bell. The more yarn you put up, the harder the game will be. And then you need something to toss into the web. We just made a ball out of these socks. To play the game, you toss the ball into the middle of the web. And someone has to go get it. I'm first. Oh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna go this way, because it's easier than going under. Come on, Daniel, you can do it. Go over. But don't set off the bell. Come on, you can do it. Just reach. Come on, you got this. You haven't run any bells so far. You I only, only ran one. one. Gisela, your turn. Well, this is a hard one. But I bet you can make it. Yes, you can. I'm gonna go this way because it's very easy. Now I can stand. Ah, got it. Almost there. I Come on, you Gisela, can you can do I it. Can do it. Oh. Almost. But that was only one bell only for one all the bell. way over there. Thanks. And that's how you make a spider web game. How to play Old McDonald's Switcheroo. We're playing Old McDonald's Switcheroo. Here's how you play. You need a bowl full of picture cards. You can draw pictures or cut them out for magazines or even use stickers. The pictures can be anything, like a wild animal or food or something you play with. Just tape or glue the picture onto a card. And then put the cards into a bowl. Let me pick one out. <laughs> I got a bowl. Now we need to think of a sound that a bowl makes and replace it from an animal for Old McDonald's. Bounce. I like that. Old McDonald's had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a ball. E-I-E-I-O. With a bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, every bounce, every bounce, bounce. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Your turn, Gisela. Okay. A robot. A robot? With the ant. Here, there, and a mm, mm, there. Oh, I like Here, that. Mm, every once. <laughs> Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a robot, E-I-E-I-O. With a boom, boom, here, and a boom, boom, there. Here, a boom, here, and boom. Everywhere, boom, boom. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. My turn. I got a door. A door? A door. What about the slam? slam? What about with the E here and an E there? <laughs> and now slam. Yeah. E, e, e. Okay. okay. Old okay. McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And that? on that farm he had a 
Dinosaur, E-I-E-I-O, with the E. <laughs>